Aladdin and the Magic Lamp In a kingdom far away, there lived a fine young man, Aladdin. Aladdin was handsome and smart, but careless. He would while away his time roaming around the market where his mother sold fruits for a living. One day, an old man came looking for Aladdin in the market. Oi, boy! Come here! What do you want? Are you Aladdin? Yes. I am a friend of your father. I am here to help you and your mother. I've never seen you before. Yes, I have lived away from this kingdom. I came to visit you and found that your father is no more. He had once written to me asking for help. I can give you some gold if you come with me. I must tell my mother. There is no time. Do you want the gold or not? Aladdin did not trust this man, but he wanted the gold. So he followed the old man out of the kingdom. They stopped in front of a rock in the middle of nowhere. The old man spoke some magical words and the rock moved to reveal a tunnel. He must be a magician. I must be careful. Get down this tunnel. It will lead you to a cave. You will find an old lamp there. Bring it to me. Why don't you do it yourself? I'm too old. Now don't waste my time. Go. I don't see anything. It's so dark. Here. Wear this ring. It'll show you the way. As soon as Aladdin entered the tunnel, the ring began to glow and he could see steps going down the tunnel. He climbed down and found a cave filled with treasure. Wow! So much gold, diamonds and rubies! And the magician wants an old lamp? Aladdin looked for the lamp and grabbed it. He also filled as much treasure as he could. Come, quick, you fool. The tunnel will not be open for very long. Aladdin wanted to get out of the tunnel fast, but the weight of the precious stone slowed him down. Ah, oh, this is heavy! Come on, faster, faster! Aladdin tried to climb as fast as he could, but the tunnel was closing. Throw me the lamp. No, get me out of here! You fool, give me the lamp or I will leave you here. Aladdin did not trust the magician. He began to remove some stones, but it was too late. The tunnel had closed. Aladdin, feeling lost in the cave, clenches his fists in apprehension and rubs the ring on his finger, out of which a genie appears. <laughs> At your service, my master. <laughs> Who are you and what do you want? <laughs> Thank you for having brought me to life. I grant you three wishes for the favor you have shown me. Carefully choose what you want, and ask me. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful! Please take me home immediately! <laughs> there you go, master. <laughs> Suddenly, Aladdin vanished and reappeared outside his home. I'm home, yes! Aladdin was safe, but he wondered why the magician wanted the old lamp. He looked at the lamp and rubbed the dust off it. The lamp started to shiver and a strange looking person came out of it. <laughs> make a wish and I will make it come true. Who are you? I am the genie of the magic lamp. I can make any wish come true. <laughs> Is that true? Then make me the richest man in this kingdom. Aladdin's house trembled and began to change into a huge mansion. His clothes changed to rich garments, and all of a sudden, he was a wealthy man. Huh? Where's my house? I've never seen this mansion before. Mother, this is our house now. We're richer than ever. How did this happen? Oh, Mother, it's all thanks to Father's friend. Aladdin's fame spread across the kingdom. He was now a wealthy young man who was kind and friendly to all. Even the king had heard about him. Who is this Aladdin? I am interested in meeting this man. Summon him to the palace. Aladdin went to meet the king and brought him many gifts. Aladdin, welcome to my palace. I have heard so much about you. Thank you for all the gifts. Thank you for inviting me, my king. 
I have been wanting to ask you something. Now that I'm finally here, I want to ask you... Yes, what is it? I want to marry the princess. The king looked at the princess in surprise. The princess had liked Aladdin the moment she saw him. She had heard all the good things about him. The king understood and liked Aladdin too. So he decided to get them married. Celebrations began. Everyone was happy except the magician who found out about Aladdin. He was angry and wanted the lamp for himself. The day before the wedding, he went to Aladdin's house disguised as a lamp seller when Aladdin was gone. Lamp seller, lamp seller, new lamps for old. I have brought my finest collection to be exchanged for your old lamps. Show me your collection and let me see how interesting that is. The magician in the lamp seller's disguise shows Aladdin's mum the finest of his collection and entices her to exchange the old one for the new. Aladdin's mother remembers the old, unattractive lamp which Aladdin had and goes inside to bring the lamp for exchange. Hooray! I never thought this would be so easy. My plan is indeed working. Here you go. So saying, she hands over Aladdin's magic lamp in ignorance. And here is your brand new lamp out of my finest collection. As soon as the magician got the lamp in his hands, he changed back to reveal his true self. Ha ha ha, Aladdin, you have always been a fool. Aladdin was shocked to see the magician. The magician immediately rubbed the magic lamp and out came the genie. Make a wish and I shall make it come true. Genie, take away all the riches you have given to Aladdin. Send him back to the streets. Aladdin's mansion changed back into his old house, and all his treasures vanished. His clothes changed back to how they were earlier. Aladdin was penniless again. Make the princess and the king and everyone in the kingdom forget him. People in the market will know him as the fruit seller's son. And I will marry the princess tomorrow. These are my wishes. Ha! 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 The next day, the magician and the princess were to be married. Aladdin was heartbroken. No one could recognize him as the wealthy and kind young man. The princess had forgotten him and was getting ready to marry the magician. Everyone was under the magic of the genie. But Aladdin was not ready to give up. He tried to enter the palace and stop the wedding. Let me in! I am to be married to the princess! The magician is fooling you all! You? Will the princess marry you? <laughs> Go away from here. The soldiers threw Aladdin out onto the streets. There was no way he could go inside. That was when he remembered the ring the magician had given him. It was still on his finger, because this was not given by the genie. This should take me inside. He rubs the ring and the genie appears. <laughs> At your service, my master. <laughs> Hurry, take me where the princess is. Aladdin vanished and reappeared inside the palace, where he saw the princess getting ready for the wedding. He sneaked out of the room, but did not know where the magician was. Aladdin remembers that he is still left with his last wish from the genie of the ring. Genie of the ring, take me to the magic lamp. Lo and behold, Aladdin vanished and reappeared in the room of the magician. The magician was getting ready too. Aladdin covered his face and entered the room. Your Majesty, I've been sent to help you get ready for the wedding. All right, bring me the turban and the shoes. As the magician was busy admiring himself, Aladdin went looking around the room and found the lamp. He grabbed the lamp and rubbed it. Make a wish and I will make it come true. The magician was shocked to see the lamp in Aladdin's hands. Genie, make the magician forget who he is, and make the princess remember me again. Bring back the riches I lost. Aladdin's clothes changed into rich garments again. The magician walked out of the room wondering who he is. Aladdin thanked the genie and set him free from the lamp. Thank you, Aladdin. You will always find a friend in me. The princess remembered Aladdin again, and they were married the same day as it was meant to happen. The magician roamed the streets of the kingdom like a madman, and Aladdin lived happily ever after. <laughs>